A former officer charged in the shooting death of a man was expected to change his plea of not guilty and be sentenced, but today's court hearing was delayed. Former Titusville police officer Joshua Payne is charged with manslaughter for the death of James Lowry. Body camera video from December 2021 shows Payne mistaking Lowry for a domestic violence suspect. And then, as Lowry ran away, Payne accidentally shot his gun at the same time as his taser. Police later said that Lowry ran because he had drugs. Payne was arrested in June of 2022, and for more than two years, Lowry's family has been waiting to see some sort of justice. New 6's James Barbero spoke with them about today's delay. Raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you give is the truth, all the truth? I think that's the truth? Yes, Your Honor. Can you please state your name and date of birth for the record? My name is Joshua Nathan Payne. Being sworn in was the only time former Titusville officer Josh Payne spoke today during what was supposed to be a plea hearing. However, Judge Tisa Ballou told the court that there was a dispute over that deal, so ultimately there was never an agreement reached between the state and defense. So after a short, uneventful day in court, I came here outside the Titusville courthouse to speak to the family of James Lowry. He was the man who police say Payne misidentified even though Lowry did fit the description of someone the police were looking for the night after Christmas in 2021. When police first showed us Payne's body cam video two years ago, Chief John Lau told us how two other people who police wanted to talk to that night did cooperate and were released. But Lowry, on the other hand, ran from Officer Payne, throwing fentanyl out of his pocket while he did so. And when Lowry tried jumping a fence, that's when Officer Payne made the fatal mistake of taking out his taser and his gun. Police said by accident, he pulled both triggers, shooting Lowry in the back of the head. Hey, he's running, he's running! Shot fired, shot fired! As your family sat there in the courtroom and you looked across the aisle and you looked at Officer Payne, how did that make you feel? I saw someone who was gonna continue moving on with their life and my brother doesn't have his. Reporters also got the chance to ask Lowry's sister, Jahari, what she thinks justice would look like for her family. An adjudication of guilt. He will never be able to be a police officer again. He will never be able to possess a weapon again. That's what it looks like for us. In Titusville, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.